Hey guys, so today we're going to do this Harley Quinn bat and what you're going to need for it is obviously a bat. Um, I got this one at Walmart. They did have other colors, it's just a plastic one. It was $4.86. And for paint, I just went with the cheapest paint. These are 50 cents and obviously these are the colors that I picked out. It's the colors that you need, just the red, the white, the blue, black, and then this one's like a tannish color. You're going to need a blue and red marker, also a black one, but I don't know where it's at right now. Some tape, your stencil, I just, print, I just printed these ones, and a little knife so you can cut that out, and that's pretty much it. Actually, you do need some paint brushes, like just like probably like two or three of them. And I just need to go get them. But let's get started so you can see how this comes out. Alright guys, so I did place this garbage bag on top of my counter. I just split it in half. I am in my kitchen because it's super cold outside so I'm not going to do this outside. But just for protection so I don't get anything on it, I did put this bag on top. Here's the bat. And now I'm just going to pour some of this paint on top of this. I mean... I'm going to obviously clean this afterwards. This paint is a little um, pretty light, which is fine with me. Um, I also did get one of these. I found it actually, <laughs> thank goodness, <laughs> because I have some brushes because I do paint and I really don't take care of my brushes um, just because I just don't. I don't know why I don't, but anyways, so let's just go ahead and paint this all over. I think you're going to have to give it a, like a couple of coats. So let's just um, do this and you don't have to be super perfect. I am not a professional so if I can do it you guys can do it. And the reason why I'm doing this and not buying it is because I don't want to spend that much money and I still want to look like super cute. Costumes can be so expensive and you only wear them for like a couple of hours, not even the whole day. Unfortunately, the paint wasn't sticking to the bat, so I had to just scrub it all off, which I did. And this is how the bat turned out. Actually, the paint just came right off of it. And it's because the bat was really glossy and obviously that paint wasn't just sticking to it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to sand down the bat. So that this um, paint can stick to it a lot better. This is just a spray can that they told me to use as a base coat so that that way the paint can stick to it. So this is a um, spray paint that I will be using or that I used obviously. Um, I went to Michael's and I got this coupon offline so you can get 40% off any one item because obviously this is a do-it-yourself trying to save some money here so make sure to get that coupon and get 40% off of whatever you're purchasing but this is um, the item that they recommended so this is exactly what I bought hopefully I mean it does look like it worked it's not coming off so that's good um, so I already uh, I sanded it down first so that the gloss would come off of it that way the paint can stick more to it so I already did that and then I just um, sprayed it and now I'm just going to paint on it with the color that I had chosen and that I had done before which is this one and um, these were 50 cents at Walmart like I said before but this is the color that I got. It's a light mocha 21489E light mocha is the one that I will be using so let's it's, it's get this done because I've been trying to do this bat for like the past three days now. We are going to apply that light mocha all over the bat. While your bat is drying, just go ahead and cut out your stencil. And my letters were too far apart from each other so I just cut them like this. And now we're just going to start putting the red on it and just using it as a guideline and then I just went through and filled out pretty much what I wanted and I'm just mixing some of the colors so I can get the letters um, exactly how I want it. Here's 
here I was using my fingers to just kind of give me a guideline between the good and the night um, lettering. I just kind of did like two fingers apart and then you're just going to re repeat the same process over. This is how the letters looked once I was done. And if you make any mistakes, don't worry. Just go ahead and grab that light mocha and correct any mistakes. For that white tape, I'm just kind of um, going to use my hand as a guideline. I'm going to do like three of my hands to see where I'm going to stop putting the tape and just kind of make a little dab there so you know where to stop and just go ahead and start wrapping the tape all over. So once you're done wrapping it all around, in the movie you can see that the tape is really dirty and the bat obviously has been used. So here I just grabbed a little bit of black and just got it like a little messy and dirty looking. Now we're going to do the Harley Quinn logo around it, which are the triangles. I use my phone as a guideline. Obviously it could be a little bit bigger, it just depends on where you want to place it. Once you have your two lines, um, you're going to start drawing the triangles. You can actually use a ruler. I'm just going to freehand it. It's easier for me. I just feel like that's personally how I like it and I was just being lazy. No, I'm just kidding. I wasn't being lazy. I just, it's just easier for me to do it that way. If you make a mistake, don't worry about it because you will be going over it with paint. So that's why I'm just doing it with um, a pencil here, just sketching it out where I kind of want my triangles to be. Once you've sketched out your triangles, go ahead and paint the middle triangles in that vibrant blue, like so. And now we're going to start painting the red triangles and I'm leaving a little um, space in between them so we can put the white afterwards.
Now it's time to write Harley's Lullaby. I just looked it up online and I pretty much copied it. I did do a little extra. I just made it a little bit more personal. And I just used the red marker and the blue marker in random spots. This is the final result of the bat. You will be able to take it to venues or um, different places because it is a plastic bat. But I think it turned out great. I love it.